Every day it was worse and worse. And they are two sisters sharing one story you know, about leaving and, home. We couldn't stay there. This is what they left behind. Mariupol basically being reduced to rubble and cut off. Without phones or internet, twin sisters Anastasia and Hannah Rechkina didn't understand what was going on. They thought that maybe if no one is safe, comes to save us, maybe the world just doesn't know about the situation. Um, that's how we saw it. Now, on the day of the invasion, the sisters say at first they didn't realize it was happening. Their city was fought over in 2014 when Russia-backed rebels took over parts of the Donbass region. In the eight years since, it was close enough to the front lines they could sometimes hear fighting off in the distance. The explosions when the invasion started were closer. And said, Mom, Putin attacked uh, uh, Mariupol now. And then we realized that uh, it, it's a real war. It's not uh, what we used to in Mariupol. What came next was weeks of scrounging and hunger. In the first days, they rationed the little they had, then they scavenged, searching friends' homes and apartments, people who'd left, looking for anything. We were checking uh, every shelf if they have something, and I was happy, oh my God, I found the candle. Oh my God, I found the uh, uh, rice, or I found something else. The challenge after that was what to do with what they found. Without gas or electricity, everything had to be cooked over a fire out in the open, exposed. When you need to go outside to cook food, then there is shelling and you need to hide. Uh, there is a constantly sound of the airplane, but you need to go outside anyways because you cannot survive without food. The sisters were able to escape. They're still in Ukraine, but at least safer. Their ride out of Mariupol was a stranger who agreed to take their group just somewhere. I don't know where we where we going. I don't know how how much time it will take. But I was happy that I'm I'm in a car. I'm in, I'm all we are all is with our our family, and that's all I wanted. Now there is one thing the sisters feel guilty about: locking the door to their apartment. There isn't much, but there is some food left. Food they say their neighbors likely need desperately. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Krakow, Poland.